All right, he wanted Chick-fil-A, guys, but Chick-fil-A it was closed. Today is Sunday, but I guess he say he'll settle for this garbage food. <laughs> McDonald's. I shouldn't say that. When I was a kid, that's all I wanted was Mickey D's, Mickey D's, but no, 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 no. All right, here's the money that you earn from helping me work. You know the value of money, right? So in order to get it, you got to work for it. And you're getting at that age where... It's hustle time. So you're going to want your own money, right? Yeah. Your mama and them are not going to always give you money, not going to always have money. So you're going to have to find ways to earn money legally. Turn it off. You're going to have to find ways to earn money legally. You know the difference between legal and illegal, right? Yes. Huh? Yes. Okay, so you're going to have to find ways to legally make money. Hustle, it's called hustle. You ain't, that, you ain't at that full hustle age yet, but you're getting there. So this is for helping me. Work on work on a car. Thank you. Okay, so you have your own money. You go in there and buy your own food, but be frugal about it, cause you don't know. You I know, need a mask. huh? You need a mask. Yes. I think it's some in that glove box. But that, that is the money you earn from helping me. So get into, as you age, get into a hustle mentality. Looking up, because it's coming. All right, you gonna want your own money and you got to earn it legally, right? What I say? Legally, legally, not illegal, not robbing banks, but working. So find a way to work, cut grass, do whatever you got. You got a lot more. When you get old enough, when you get old, yeah, you got to start hustling, man. Make some money. All right, go in there and get you something to eat. I don't really condone you eating McDonald's. Um, uh, here. I don't condone you wearing Mac eating McDonald's, but that's what you want because Chick-fil-A clothes. Okay. And uh, do what you do. I, Unc can't eat that, so be right back. All right. All right, guys. Yeah, he had that, uh, at that age where uh, you want your own money and your own you want to make semi make your own decisions. Now you ain't quite at that age yet, but the earlier, the better, okay? Because like I say, moms ain't gonna always have it to give you, and you're gonna always want more than what moms give you anyway. Moms or dad, parents, okay? Parents can only go so far. At some point, uh, what was I doing? Um, I started cutting grass fairly early, man. As a matter of fact. I work with an old cousin of mine's name, Jacob Rowe. All you Wabba Seeker people, y'all know Jacob Rowe. My Cundurch son. Okay, yes. When the summertime came and school was out, uh, we didn't have video games and play, internet and all that. So, I ended up teaming up with my cousin Jacob Rowe for the summer and cutting grass. That was the summer thing, man. Uh... Now, I'm from the country, so it's kind of different now. Um, we had options like, what you going to do this summer? What you going to do this summer? Like, sitting around doing nothing, it was an option, but it was a terrible option, okay? So, we had school programs. They have a, they had a, a fund where the school can hire students, you know, after work, after school to work. And we had other options to chop cotton, all right? Chop cotton, yes, uh... The burden, uh, burden man. God, I can't forget his name. But I jumped on his truck. We went to Chop Cotton. Roy Burden, daddy. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All you wabba seeking people. But uh, Jake and Roe, I cut grass. And, you know, slowly. I didn't start getting in the cars, guys, until I ended up in Texas. Uh, thank goodness for my cousin. I always give props with props, so credit is due. Thank goodness for my cousin, James Bond Sr., a.k.a. Poon. Actually, man, I give the credit to his wife, guys. Uh, because at the end of the day, the wife make the final decision. Sure, Poon, I mean, he a dude and we cousin, sure. Yeah, come on, I don't mind. But at the end of the day, it's got to go through the wifey. All right? They had just got, I'll never forget, man. Oh, uh, they had got married. They moved to Texas. It was a whole new city for them. Here I am, just graduated high school lost don't know what to do and needed a place to stay didn't want to stay you know i needed to get out of this country so i ended up in texas poon let me stay with him for a year or two i don't remember how long it was but i was a young teenager terrible hygiene just bad and just reckless and all kinds of stuff but i i 
to this day, uh, I think Miss uh, First Lady, she's First Lady now, uh, Pastor Barnes and First Lady Wonder Barnes uh, took me in. Took me in, guys. Uh, yes, they had to feed me until I got on my feet working. And then once I got going, uh, I didn't look back. Okay, I realized the value of a dollar. And now I'm on my own. I have to do what I have to do. I was grown. When you're grown, you got to find your own way. But you need a foot in the door. And thanks to Cuz James Bond Sr., I always will have mad respect for him and First Lady Wanda Barnes. All right. Oh. Uh, my, now my nephew. Back to my nephew. Uh, now I am technically uh, we got parents to him, but I've been slipping. I have slipped a lot, and that's simply because I have a hundred things going right now. And but I have to find time to spend time with my great nephew. Now that we've worked, he finna eat. We finna go home and play games. Okay. Now the way you know it's brought up now, you refrain from having fun until you do what you're supposed to do all right yes he helped me fix that car he, you know pass me the wrench pass me the tools put some gloves on clean up let's do this let's do that we're done now we can play i don't have any sons like i have three girls uh now i have a grandson so uh, i gotta totally adjust on how that's supposed to be because that i didn't have my grandson during my lower age you know 30s and 40s Okay, so, but it's still a challenge. I mean, I'm just 32 right now. So, you know, what can I say? Hey, I still got a lot of time. So, uh, this is, this is going to be interesting. This next phase, a chapter in my life. But I do realize I need to spend more time with the great Neff. Uh, and the guys, uh, you, when you when you say spend time with kids or people, the, the, the good years go along with the bad years, guys. <laughs> Yes, raising kids, there are some bad years, okay? Now, I, I would like to think I missed out on the I missed the bad years. Now, I'm not saying that's a good thing, but yes, mom's done went through some things with him. Uh, he, he's coming out of the real turf, but he's moving into grade school or the middle part of school, and those are the real rough years. You're talking about uh, being misled by your peers, your, your classmates, and trying to be blend in with the crowd and the girls and the guys. And it's going to be rough coming up. So you got to have guidance. You know what I'm saying? From, I'm, I don't consider myself a role model. But to my younger siblings, my younger uh, nephews and nieces and things like that. I guess I am. Alright. So I want to do my part. Now, where is he? What did he order? These guys, man, these little yo jokers now, man, they can eat. I guarantee you, like, he don't really know the value of a dollar right now, but I guarantee you he's going to go in there and spend at least $10. That's how it is. When I when I was coming up, Uncle Neil gave me $2 a week. I promise you, I spent $0.20 cent and kept $1.80 to next week. A month go by, I have $10 off of the $2 a week Uncle Neil was giving me. <laughs> man... I was cheap then, man. I don't know how these jokers is today. When it comes to eating, they going to blow up. Like like this is the last meal and they just, that's just the way it is. Now, he's not fat. You know, he's young. He's, it's, 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 his metabolism is high. And uh, as far as healthiness, you can't really force that on kids. Now, they will miss out on some fun if you try to do that. But... The good news is, and it's not really good news, they got time to recover if they indulge in a bunch of, I can't eat McDonald's, and I really don't want him eating McDonald's, but this is what he chose. Now, you let you let, you let let kids make their choice. Now, you try to educate them on how, if this is a bad choice, you educate them why. Don't just say, no, no, no McDonald's. But why? You got to explain to them why. And, um, you know, hi, there he is. Oh, he didn't do too bad. I see a small bag drink. See me, I'm so cheap. I would have left out. I would have asked for some water and put some pop in it. But you know, you don't train your the children that way. You make them do right. Oh, this joker got ice cream. Man, what you got? Ice cream. All right, guys, we're done. I'm about to get out of here. We're about to go on and play some games. So, uh, thanks for listening. I guess. See y'all in the next video.